Kratos on my watch later list forever now. <laughs> Those kids have human ears too and therefore for it. No, no, no. Only fox ears. Haven't yet. Very... Every bit is good video. Okay, man. Good video. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. Brought to you by NordVPN. Let's go. <laughs> Exploration. Exploration. What is exploration? Ah, it's finding no new things this one that people haven't Ooh. found yet. Witness this moment, local. Uh, make a note, boy. <laughs> yeah, I used to plow once, but I've given <laughs> it up. Now I'm more of an explorer. Maybe I should explore my sexuality. What the hell is that? Under the ocean, I'm afraid there's not much to see. Okay. <laughs> Our gun. Where? <laughs> All this and more in the field. First Sub things Monica? first, a little bit of admin. Yes. Um, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, thank you. I just wanted to let you know, in honor uh, of you, uh, my friend, um, <laughs> I'm going to avoid using any homophobic slurs for the rest of the month. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, of course. Maybe just for the next and 10 minutes. And then to go I'm wild. I'm still going to say them, but I just won't say them with as much vitriol. How about that? How about I'll, <laughs> I'll pull a taze on day and pull away from the mic to say them? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You imagine that? Like, we're just having a chat, and then you just hear, like, a quiet slur. <laughs> just, like, just in the, in the mic off. The just point. off in the distance. <laughs> but you're right. What, did you say something? No. Nope. No, 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 no. And of course, you've got your Discord set up so that, like, it's so sensitive <laughs> that it picks up even the smallest <laughs> sounds. Ah, <laughs> oh, 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 the best. That's a really funny idea. Right, what did you actually want to talk about? Hawaii? Yo! Hawaii? We've flown to Hawaii uh, in a couple of months. When you look at that on the map, oh boy, are those dudes be out mm. there. I feel like in general that would be quite a relaxing living <laughs> for the last several thousand years. Just chilling, eating fish and fucking coconuts and stuff. Yeah, I think it was fairly brutish as well. Like, Captain Cook, he died in Hawaii, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, he got run over by a uh, Toyota oh. Corolla, I think. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And he got killed Hold by the up. locals. And one of the reasons for that was they became very scared of the Europeans because this was their second voyage over. Mm. And the first time, someone went on the ship sick. They go, guys, oh, no. does anyone have a cold? Does anyone have a flu? We're serious. You can't come. You can't come if you guys. don't be sick. No, uh, no, I swear. It's just my allergies. It Bro, fuck those people, man. Fuck you if you do this, man. Those people are the reasons we have, like, fucking... Those people have so much responsibility for the spread of the pandemic, man. So much responsibility, man. Not just fucking social distancing. It's just the sea air, all right. And then they brought him along Makes and me sneezed fucking on mad. all the locals. And then, you know, 90% <laughs> of the population died. Just ran oh up and sneezed God. on them. Uh, and then he went back to England or whatever. And in the meanwhile, no, the whatever. lions are going, what the heck? They put a curse on us. And then Captain Cook shows up again and he's going, I'm loving this. This was brilliant last time. They had coconut <laughs> bras. They had coconut cocktails. <laughs> coconut music. Yeah. They didn't have horses, but they would clap the coconut halves together. <laughs> Grass skirt, loving it. Especially when there was a strong breeze. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts. Moana on TV. <laughs> and anyway, they were loving it. And then all of a sudden they see the natives and they're running up. And this time they got spears. And they're going, what? What's going on? Hey, and what, the then... fuck? what the hell, man? We didn't need to have such a long lockdown without those people. Literally, man. Those people, man. Like, just like distance yourself. Like, take a break. It's a week. You'll be fine. Pretty sure I heard something different. That, that doesn't seem right. Were you you calling me a liar? I don't, hey, I don't know. Hmm. I I heard something different. Yeah, hold on. Let me Google. I'll Google it. I have a friend who never missed a day of school in seventh to twelfth grade and got me sick with strep several times due to him. What the fuck? Look, I found these ladies. They will be the arbiters of the whole thing. Cook uh. is you know horrible because he brought. It's a fun to blowhole blast of pineapple rum. Godly, I really should stop drinking. <laughs> I don't think I should uh, mix caffeine with alcohol, you know? I don't think that's very smart. Then my blowhole blast is going to be caffeinated. 
disease. Mm -hmm. He's not terribly important. The best thing about him is that we killed him. Oh, no. No, hold on. Let Wait. Cook. This is, that's sick. Hold up. It's not very nice. I'm glad we ate him. This is where Cook went, took his diseases to the Maoris or the Tahitians, mm -hmm. whatever. We can stay. We caffeine free one? I, I ordered the caffeine, uh, the one with Bravo, caffeine, though. We killed Cook. He did, they didn't know about germ theory. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> All right, this lady didn't give us any substantial information. So we consulted Wikipedia as to what actually happened. Okay, so so here's what happened. So Cook, right, he returns. Yeah. And it's not just him. There's other people with him. <laughs> they return to Hawaii. Yep. And they need to do repairs because their ship, the mast, is broken. While they're doing that, there's a... Isn't also Hawaii closer to Japan than it is to America now or something? I just found that out recently. I had no idea. I had no idea how far away Hawaii is from everything else, bro. Hawaii is the ultimate social distancing. Like, Hawaii is social dis socially distancing themselves from the entire world. A series of thefts from Cook's camp. It says here that they stole iron tongs and baskets. Oh. So, so it's like, it's the literally? stuff, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep that in the vault. <laughs> the real high <laughs> value items. Baskets, man. So they put up with the thieving and the pinching for a while, but then, sure. so they've got these, they've got these boats, right? So they park them in the ocean. You don't want to get too close to the beach. Or you don't want to get stuck on the shore. Oh, so you then sure. take these little boats all the way to the shore and they're called cutters. At one point yeah. they discovered, hey, someone's stolen one of our little boats. Mm. So the next day, Cook and about 10 How of his dudes, they march ashore, right? How do you and they steal go a up boat? to the Hawaiian king, and his name is like Tariabu. And they go, you're coming with us, fella. We're going to take you as a hostage, and then we're going to force the natives to return the boat, please. <laughs> also, I want those tongs back. <laughs> yeah. And that basket. And also, how did you possibly get past our security to steal the tongs and <laughs> basket? <laughs> yeah, but in like, the chaos, what? when they're trying to take the king, a Hawaiian chief shows up. Okay. And his name is like Kalimu. Please. And please he's tell me just killed them. Killed. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I, uh, bad I didn't mean this time around. I meant for the Hawaiian to ch shoot, like, to kill the other people. But of course they have guns. Of course. Fucking cheap shot, man. Timing on his part. <laughs> Things have escalated from tongs and boats to murder. I like to imagine he just pops into the, the hut like, oh, oh, hey guys, what's happening here? Bang! <laughs> just, just, just real wrong place, wrong time. I got those 10 Hawaiian pizzas you ordered. <laughs> Pizza time. So the natives, they get angry. Understandably. Uh, Cook and his crew yeah. take off running. They're going back for the long boat. Yep. They're like, we gotta like, get bro, out of here. They we literally just shot him. <laughs> Why? A big mistake. Yep. Huge. And then while they're pushing their boats into the water, Cook and the crew are attacked by the natives. Uh oh. Now, they're fighting and it's like, it's all in slow motion. And Cook turns around, he shoots and he kills a native warrior. At that point, he has oh been no. struck with a wooden club. And then oh. someone stabs him with an iron dagger. <laughs> real real ah, like level lucky. one goblin items to be killed by. <laughs> he took, he took a collective 12 damage from that. How did this happen? They had guns. How did they get overwhelmed? What the fuck? Cook then fell down, and he, along with four other soldiers, were never seen again by the men who escaped back to the Resolution, which is the big ship. And then they like weirdly preserved his body and did a whole bunch of things. We can't show the images; it's very armor? gruesome. Maybe. I think they kind of liked him by the end. Yeah, at least once he was dead. Nature's it's hard to so be scary. Angry at a body, Fair. I guess. Yeah. Interesting. Fair. That is. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's that's very different to what I was led to believe. I would like to know how this other chief was shot. And Wasn't this during the? The time period where reloading took forever? Maybe that's it. Call left and thank you for the follow. Don't anger the natives. Fair, fair, Killed. fair. Well, I suppose the instigating event was the theft, but that definitely escalated it like a little bit. Front like powder front lotus. Oh! How do you, how do you go from... Yeah, the chief might have attacked him or something. Okay, yeah, if it was okay, a self-defense, okay, then that fair, would make fair. a bit more sense. I'm so sorry to the editor who has to proofread all the nonsense <laughs> that I've, like, <laughs> all the nonsense and hard <laughs> truth. Ah, yeah, lucky. Things that we've, like... Overheard in a fever dream. When we, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like vague, heard half it, of it. Um, we we're, 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 we're in the club. <laughs> we're in the like, you know, somewhere, somewhere cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, me just with a an ear to a glass at the toilet <laughs> stall and <laughs> at the kebab shop, and I'm just like, yeah, that's a good fact. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'm gonna yeah, put yeah, that's what, going. Well. Bro, that's 
that's how I gotta make up my stream content, man. This this is how I gotta make up my screen content. No, 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 no. I, I need to write this down. He's right, right, he's in right. The brain, right in the memory hole for later. <laughs> They're gonna love this one. Add time. Nordman, Yo. I sentence you to... No. 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 I sentence you to two years in the prison no. slammer. But I'm innocent. And just so you no. learn a lesson, here's four additional months. Welcome to my life. In Schnord Schnank. <laughs> <laughs> it's Helen. No. They track your every move. Prisoners, it's time for I'm cookies. Gonna this one. I hope you'll oh, no. accept them. Not the cookie. <laughs> There's no privacy in this jail at all. It's like a goddamn prison. We have trackers all over this prison, and we're gonna use that Online to collect trackers. data and sell it to marketers. But someone here has been using a VPN, and I have a suspicion of who it is. I'll never rat out my crew, <laughs> Warden. Have it your way, then. Just let me out, Warden. You don't have to make this such a huge deal. Shut the fuck up. Wait a minute. Something in my prison wallet. <gasps> Kid, if you ever find yourself in the hole, use this. Saley Esim. Is that a SIM card? The Saley Esim gives you 20 gigabytes of mobile data, which you Wait, NordVPN has SIM cards now? You can use anywhere in the world. And then you pair it with the what? NordVPN app, and then you're totally anonymous as well, and you can pretty much Wait, go in and do this. Prison wallet bottle, oh. Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask, what the fuck is a prison wallet? Oh, Lord. A gift when you sign up to NordVPN. Hello? Nord 24 hours support hotline. I'm in solitary and I'm feeling very alone right now. Where, where did he go? Impossible. Come with me. Lamar. I can't. I belong here. But where are you gonna go, kid? Okay. With Nord's thousands of servers around the globe. Anywhere but here. Final call for the flight. All passengers, please line up by the gate. <laughs> Not leaving so soon, are you? Huh? <gasps> no! I changed my mind about jail. Sailor man? I sentence you man. to a life sentence with me. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna kiss on my dad! <laughs> Naughty Dufresne <laughs> was never. <laughs> what the seen fuck? Again by authorities. But he went <laughs> on to commit many, many more crimes. So we get NordVPN today with NordVPN.com slash incognito. <laughs> get a huge deal on a two-year plan plus four Why is extra your first months. Why And when you sign up using my link, you get a free Easter look with Saley. Hey, that's pretty good. Saley! The ocean. Sherlock, why are you so wet? Absolutely not. Cinema. Not even. No. Not even. I don't even want to think about it. No. Look, I'm first. I played Bioshock One and Two. That seems like an awful idea. It'd, it'd be fun to visit, maybe. But... I'd quite like to live under the ocean. Really? That seems I'd, really. Neat, I don't. You know, it's live scary. in a big glass scary. semicircle. Do you have like a, a shoot? You know, like. What if the fucking semi circle just crashes? You just drown. You're gone. GG. Life's over. A window that just opens up and just fish pour in. You close it and that's your dinner. I just like to imagine like some like 1950s housewife just opening up the windows to get some air in and just a bunch of fish flopping. The apple pie on the windowsill Yay! just gets obliterated. Now I wanted to show you this because I saw this the other day and I thought it was very neat. Okay, so this is a very cool channel. It's called Natural World Facts, right? And this particular video okay. is on brine pools. Mm. And so brine what happens pools. is at the bottom of the ocean, there are different levels of salinity, and sometimes you end up with these pockets of exceedingly like salt, salty right? water. Yeah, yeah. And they're usually filled with like sulfur and lots Gula of other bad oh God. stuff too. Yeah, right. So it's like, oh, this guy's, you know, here's this crab, and he's loving it, and look at all yeah. these muscles. Sherlock, oh, what are you doing? You'd be stoked. Sherlock. Absolutely. Sherlock. And then there's a pool over here, and somehow it's breached its wall, and then it's just oh, no. slid downhill, and it spills out 
like a oh, river no. running through the bottom of the ocean across no. the sea floor. This is how Gula Dune looks. And it just cool. finds like its lowest point, right? Because it's heavier than the rest of the water. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. And there's all these like oysters that are like. It's great being down here, lower than the brine pool. <laughs> I'm loving this. Look at those oh, idiots no. up there, stuck in the <laughs> brine pool. Unlike us, <laughs> downhill chads. Food's falling down here all the time. We're getting big and fat and we love it. We live the life <laughs> while here, man. downhill chad versus the brine pool virgin. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, what's that? What's that smell? Is it getting darker? <laughs> Five seconds later, he's like, I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. And they just get devastated. So it really is like the Goo Lagoon and SpongeBob. Like how they, have, they have water. Actually, it's actually it's, it's just the, the Goo Lagoon. It's the sequel to yes. water. There's water inside water. It's crazy that it is. Oh my god! I always thought. Why is there an ocean in Spongebob? This doesn't make any sense. Little did I know it did make sense. Little did I know it did make sense. It is just so much darker. Like, in a fantasy game, that would be the void or the the yeah. dark evil that seeps Bro, across the land. the ocean is scary Look at these stupid all. fish. <laughs> like, they can see there's just death incarnate, and then... And they still go in. Here? Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm lucky. I'm dead. Yeah, fish are stupid. I think if they had eyebrows, we'd feel bad for them. Right. But they don't, so like... <laughs> if yeah. you saw someone, like, throw a puppy off a cliff, you'd, you'd feel... The creator of Spongebob is a marine biologist? Really? I have no idea. Oh, all right. But, like, discussing a fish wow. off a cliff, that would honestly be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. They're so alien-looking, and they can't emote that you don't really feel bad for them. I feel like being a fish is literally the worst animal you could roll. Because, yeah. like, at least if you're a land... Is a fish the worst animal you could roll? What about just being a mosquito? Wouldn't it suck to be a mosquito? I feel like a fish, you can just no brain, bloop, bloop, slug. Oh, slug would suck. What about sloth? You would just be hella slow. If I recall correctly, the creator of Sunship did Bob Sponge to spread information about the ocean in a less boring world way. Ah. Oh. Monkey life would be best life. <laughs> Mosquito suck. Yeah, 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 shut and up. Mammal. You can at least see the world around you. Right. Fish is like, you can see at most two to five meters in front of you. Yeah, you got your eyes at the side of your head. At any point, you can just get five notes at Fiddy's <laughs> jump scare by like a bigger fish, of which there is like infinite amounts mm. of. Like, oh. What if you're well, a big fish? Like a shark. A shark's a fish. Oh, look, a tasty Let's morsel. Be a shark fish. That, look, that thing looks delicious. So I go and I take a little bite. Oh my god, oh my god, something's pulling on my face. <laughs> something's pulling on my face. <laughs> this, this just fucking reminded me of the episode with SpongeBob and Patrick and the hooks. Oh my god. That. <laughs> just the ending of that episode. Of Patrick getting delivered back in a fucking tuna can, man. <laughs> and then you know what? You might pull a cool trick and somehow you might get loose of the line and you go, whoa, that wasn't a tasty morsel at all. No, I got tricked. Oh, there's something in my mouth. Dude, no, he's, he's got a really cool piercing now, bro. <laughs> he... Oh, he's really cool. Not the mayo. Not the <laughs> and you've just got the hook now yeah, there yeah, yeah. forever. It's like, there's something between my teeth. Steve, could you get this? Can you, imagine, <laughs> could you imagine just having, even just the idea of like something between your teeth and you can't do anything about it. Imagine, yeah, then just having like a piece of shrapnel in your face that's <laughs> just stuck there. And not only do you not have the capability of removing it, nobody <laughs> you know does. does. Away, and no one feels any sympathy either. At best you get a, oh, you got a new piercing. Yeah, yeah. The first yeah. seasons. Damn, damn, yeah, that is the piercing. Middle, huh? Well, I think it's because no matter what. The first seasons of SpongeBob were really the best. What man. the fish's life ends in a in a brutal and violent way. Yes. There is no fish retirement. The, the fish grows old and grey and, and slumps How off do fish from sleep? the herd do they just to, keep swimming? to die a peaceful life amongst the trees and Do they just keep swimming? Like I know that fish do sleep, but how do they sleep? Do they just like float? They kind of float 
float around, you know, like kind of not float, but like drift in the water while asleep. Do they sleep with their eyes closed? Are their eyes open? Is there any brain activity? Hey, hold my fin. <laughs> I see the lights. Open, really? Okay. <laughs> no, it's getting. Can they even close their eyes? Eden torn apart, your cheek's getting pulled by a rod, you're getting yep. dissolved by stomach acid alongside Yay! 500 other fish in the whale's guts, you're drowning in saltier water. Mm, the there's, yeah, there's no good out no. for a fish. Cause, yeah, the idea of being a fish is like, you're in like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, pretty sure fish don't have eyelids. I mean, sharks do, right? Like, sharks can kind of blink. They he literally just did it here in the video. Dissolved by stomach <laughs> acid alongside 500 other fish in the whale's guts. You're drowned, eaten, uh, torn right apart. Your cheek. You see the eyes? So, uh, sharks mammals? No, 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 no. Sharks aren't mammals. No. Uh, dolphins and whales are mammals. Sharks aren't mammals. Sharks are not mammals. No, sharks are not mammals. Dolphins and whales are mammals. Sharks aren't. No, sharks are not mammals. Oh my god. Shit, don't you. I know my biology, okay? I know my fucking biology. Are shark mammals. They are not mammals. Here you go. Don't, don't you fucking test me on this. Don't you fucking test me. Sharks are one of my favorite animals, man. Sharks are one of my favorite fucking animals. Don't you fucking test me, okay? Do not fucking test me. I swear they are not. They are not mammals. He's getting pulled by a rod. You're getting yep. dissolved by stomach acid. Does Gargara a mammal? No. In the whale's guts. You're drowning in saltier water. There's yeah, there's no good out. No. For a fish. Welcome back, Eternal. Yeah, the idea of being a fish is like, you're in like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 24-7. Every like, direction it, they turn around, rrr, you hear the revving of the <laughs> chainsaw. You're literally running 24-7, except you've also got two extra axes to deal with, because mm. a fish could come from above oh, or below God. too. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. You can't like hide behind a bush. I guess you could hide <laughs> in some rocks on the seabed. And also visibility, right? Like, yeah, unless I have you're no in crystal chill. clear waters. I have and no there's no way that they're not weirded out by the deep sea fish either. Like, they must be looking at something as guys and being like, <laughs> they look fucking weird. But you reckon they're like, it's like, they can't bring it up. Did kids play <laughs> Subnautica yet? No, I have not. I don't own the game. Never played it. Never gotten around to it. Oh, I might play it at one point. Kind of offensive. Like, oh, I <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah they're just like... Uh, oh my god, know, the, the fucking weird blobfish, man. Hey, hey. It's, yeah, it's like when a child sees like a, a disabled person and starts like pointing at them or whatever. Shut up, no, 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 You do not it's bite okay. the screen. I saw how, what happens. Mount Everest. Somebody give to us a Would you want to climb a mountain? Sick, I wouldn't climb a mountain. I'd walk up one. I walked... Quite a decent chunk on a mountain. Like I took, I had, I only ever hiked once in my life. Never again, man. Never fucking again. I would never do Everest. There's like a pretty high percentage chance you don't get out of that. I just don't see the appeal. You got to take like three weeks off work. Yeah, there's a good chance you'll just die in one of the worst ways, swim, you know, like either getting crushed or rolling down a hill or falling down a crevasse and breaking your leg and just mm. starving. Remember when we were all children and it was always like, oh, it's so hard to climb the Mount Everest. Barely anyone's ever gotten there. No one's ever gotten to the Mount Everest, blah. And now it's like literally anyone ever gets to the top of the Mount Everest or something. Uh, so, yeah, that happened. <laughs> to this. Like, there's, there's innumerable it's ways you anymore, could die. I'm sure the view is spectacular. I don't think it is. I think you can barely see anything. That's what I'm saying. But even what you do see is like when it's something like this, like the image you have there, it's like, oh, you mm. just see more snowy rocks. Mm. It's not like you climb to yeah. the top of a nice hill and yeah. Alchemist actually want to take your hiking. That would, uh, <laughs> that would mean that he would want to go hiking. Okay? Okay? Yellowstone yeah. Valley. There's no something. nice restaurant up there. Fun fact, you need to back your poop when climbing Mount Everest. Why so? Like, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, obviously to not contaminate shit, but like, what's the, like, uh, 
in death reason behind it. Isn't the top of the Everest covered in corpses because nobody can get up there to retrieve them? I don't know about that one. Pretty sure the number is about 10k who have reached the top and it's about 8% of death rate. Jesus. 8% isn't that bad, like, compared to how many has have gotten there. And compared to how barely anyone has ever made the trip when, like, what? In, like, 20 years ago, you know? Yeah. No, exactly, you know? Do you want your ass to freeze? No, but, like... Then wear diapers, I guess? You're not uncovering like a hidden lagoon or valley or something. And especially like Mount Everest as well, you're doing it with like 600... Yeah, like most things that can be humanly explored so far have been explored. You know? There's barely anything not discovered, so Kitsu is gonna stream from Everest? No thanks. 20 years ago, Mount Everest was this unchallenged force of nature. Yeah! Like, 20 years ago, it was like, Whoa! The Mount Everest! The tallest mountain ever! The Death Mountain! And all of that Thousand shit. other people. So it, it's like, I've heard during peak time of the year, it's literally like a conga line to the top yeah. of the mountain. So it's not even yeah. like you're yeah. like a bold explorer going where no one's gone before. Didn't someone uh, do it in like shorts? One of those like guys who says they can like control yeah. their body temperature. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I think what? a guy did do that. Is it? Yeah, it's Wim Hof. I thought it was him. The, guy, the wow. ice man says he's able to like regulate his body temperature I mean, he, and shit. There must be something to it if he can. Well, yeah. if he didn't, if he didn't die. die. He'd be pissed off when yeah. you're like, you're, 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 you've spent several thousand dollars at Kathmandu kidding yourself out and you just see some guy. Yeah. Bro, giga chat actually, man. Holy giga chat. Holy giga yeah, chat. It, it feels like you're way topping everybody. It's already impressive to climb to the top and now he's like doing it even better than you he's like come on man let me at mm. least let me have this wasn't dark souls you know you can pick your class and you can be like uh, is oh it my god he is. he's the he's the naked class oh my god what were they called oh my god he's doing a no hit run as oh my god deprived, deprived or something deprived your... yeah oh, no hit deprived yeah, run man yeah, he's, um, he's just combat this is not the highest mount. Yes, I know it's the highest peak because of the the mountain mass that's under the ocean. You know what I mean. Don't be a fucking spot ass. Everyone knows this. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Rolling to the top of the, <laughs> the top you can just of the mountain. The cold. <laughs> Bookshop. Okay, Nerd. let me tell you what yeah. I explored. Okay. I didn't get. Then you didn't pay attention in school. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Or your school system has failed you. I explored the bookshop on the weekend. That's like a mental exploration. I Why are they exploring bookshops now? How many sharks are on the Everest? Five. I used to have a lot of books. Like a lot of books. Mm, you seem well read. I'm, I'm not particularly well read. I used to read a lot of books. Like back in school days. Oh my god, I just remind myself of the anime school days. Oh, PTSD! Either way, back when I was still going to school, when I was a little, little baby Kitsu, I used to read a lot. Because uh, I had to distract myself from my uh, traumatizing life, you know? Now, I don't really have the time to read anymore. I have a handful of books. I did read a book two years ago. Two years ago, I did read a book. Two years ago, I did read a book. <laughs> well, Brent, uh, well <laughs> But read. I don't really have but the time anymore. What Bless you, was, thanks. I used to buy books for a dollar. Sure. Very quickly, I accumulated. I'm not particularly well, Brent. Wait, did I? Did that go over okay. my head? I explored the bookshop on the weekend. That's like, like a that, mental exploration. Did that I used joke to go over my head? Books, like a lot of books. Mm, you seem well read. I'm. I'm not particularly well read. <laughs> <laughs> well read, uh, well read. But what happened was, I used to buy books for a dollar. Sure. Very quickly, oh, I accumulated a lot of books. And anyway, oh, I moved to one place, and then a flood happened. And then I moved. To oh, oh, oh no, bro! 
Oh no, my apartment got flooded too. I, I've talked about this before. My apartment got flooded. Oh, worst shit Another ever. Another place. They got kind of left to the elements and so much dust got in there. So oh, I went that, that's full a field's 1930s bad. mode and I I had a, a fire in the backyard. You did a book burning. With, well, yeah, I had a book burning of my own stuff. Oh, this seems kind of cool to do, though. Like, if it's already, like, garbage, you know? And I thought, I'm... Okay, but all the, like, all the, like, uh, fucking... The smoke is bad. But whatever. I'm just gonna whatever. start the collection It's so again. cool, fire so cool, whatever. Weekend, I went to the bookstore, and I got some better <laughs> it's books. It's not that deep. Some books Two dollars. to me. I wouldn't actually do it. <laughs> I got some books with pictures in them. Yowie. The comics or like children's books. So they've got a whole aisle now Yo! dedicated to manga. Yo! Do I spot some Haruizu Sumia? Let's go! What else? We have some ReZero. I don't know what that is. Rental Girlfriend. I, I, I've seen the first season of that. Spy Classroom, I heard, is good. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. What, what does it say? I can't even read that. What's this? Rent a girlfriend. I liked the first season. I did like the first season. Manga. I thought it was I think it's pronounced mango. I yeah, hate ReZero. You know what? what? Right? Uh, ReZero is so good. What the fuck? I'm going to do it. I'm going to see manga? what all the yeah. fuss is about. And so <laughs> they, had, they had these books on like Junji Ito. And I thought, yeah, it's quite uh -oh. spooky. I like spooky stories. Oh, yeah. He's good. Yep. So I got a couple of those. I'm wandering around and... I get to the like mystical aisle and I thought, oh, this would be funny. I'll I'll buy her story and like a book on witchcraft. And then when people oh. come around and visit, I'll like leave it on the coffee table <laughs> and I'll tell people that her story Dog. is really into this stuff now. Oh, oh dog-eared <laughs> with like a bookmark in it. And... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So I'm in that sort of aisle and there's a whole bunch of tarot cards there. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Let's let's have a look at that. So I look at those. I pick it up and the box feels very light. I mean, oh, that's weird. Did and it says on a, on a sticker. Please see at Please the counter. The they can't okay. trust tarot cards in the store regular. Interesting. So I went to the front counter and I, you know, I bought my, my, my couple of books. Yeah. And I said to the lady, why are all the tarot cards behind the counter? And she mm. goes, there's so much shoplifting of tarot cards. That's it's crazy. It's like the most stolen That's thing crazy. in the whole why? store. Why? Oh, Wow. Why? I would not have picked that. No, I wouldn't have either. I thought that was so interesting. I guess it's because it would be like one of the easiest things to like just like take out of the box without it being noticed, I guess. And I said, so what's number two? And then she points down at my book. She goes, <laughs> Wait, what? we've got a copy of Berserk up the back and we don't even keep it at the front counter. <laughs> Yeah, we keep it in the, like the storage out the back. <laughs> that does not surprise me because I've I've tried to buy the first edition of Berserk. So I'm like, I want to read this, but mm. it's never anywhere. And I just yeah. assumed, oh, it must it's so popular that it's sold out. But that makes way more sense that people are just <laughs> shanghaiing it. Hey, yeah, so full of the she ritual. also said like, well, well, the reason that the tarot cards the rice are stolen so often is because they're so easy to resell. Oh. Yeah, sure. Oh. Would stealing them okay. not imbue them with some dark energy, or does that like activate their powers? <laughs> now, ironically, Curse. if the store actually used the tarot cards, they would know that they're about to get stolen <laughs> oh, from. God. Yeah, it's like how no one steals a Ouija board because you always see it coming. Uh, it's funny oh how recent Ouija boards are. Yeah, I've heard it's Parker are Brothers. Are they? Thing, yeah, it? it was just yeah. some goofy board game Who the fuck from are like the, the 60s. Parker Brothers? Don't be left in the dark. New glow in the dark Ouija. It'd be like if Mousetrap turned out to be haunted or something. Uh, oh my god. Oh yeah, no, I like that. Like, <laughs> whatever you- Who resells several cards with a free price listing? Don't worry about do, it. Do not go eBay. seeking the cheese. Just eBay. <laughs> I was, and I regret it. Do you remember the mousetrap ad? It's That's a crazy cra ad. traption! Wait. No, uh, I've no, never played the mousetrap cra ad. Yeah. I've always wanted to play it. Action, the crazy contraption, the, crazy contraption, the fun, the fun is, catching is catching its mousetrap. Trap. Fuck. What they should have for the tarot so cards, fun, man. they place it in such a way that you just want to steal them. Mm. Even if you have no interest in stealing tarot cards, you're like, oh, I could... I think the uh, entire concept of tarot cards is actually pretty cool. I've never gotten into it myself, to be fair. But I think... Like, I really like the art for it that's usually on it. And, like, especially, like, custom tarot sets are really, really cool. Fully tight. And really creative. So yeah. But you do. 
and then all of a sudden you start hearing like clinks and dinks of small ball bearings rolling around. A giant plastic cage lands on top of you. I don't know how that works with OSHA, but I reckon we could get it get it pushed through. Old video games, hey yo? You gonna talk about, I don't old know, Spyro, Jack and games, Dexter? Especially old online games are very creepy in a, in a very liminal space kind of way. That's true. Oh. You know, the graphics are all like very outdated and you would be playing games where there'll be the implication of a wider world but mm. there's you just know in the reality we wouldn't have jojo without tarot cards really i didn't know is there's nothing there like if i could just jump over this wall i'm in a oh, void yeah, oh right, yeah like you're playing um pokemon or something and you actually manage to move the truck and there's yeah. a door <laughs> and there's going to be a mew down there and you step into the door yeah, and you go inside, right? And it's like a liminal space, which is very scary. Yeah. And it's like a cave. You're expecting Ooh. to encounter Doug Trio and Zubats, yep. but yep. instead it's nothing. As I walked through the cave, it got darker and darker, and I started to notice some strange things. <laughs> there were skeletons. What's the, what's the bit? It's called like uh, Pokemon Death Black. Or no, like, it has to be called Pokemon Blood Red or something. <laughs> Poke Pokemon, I, it's, uh, what's no. a scary color? Pokemon Gray, actually, that's kind of cool. That's gray. a liminal okay. color. Is there is there like an adjective we can throw on it? Like no. <laughs> what about like morbid just gray? gray. No, I feel Pokemon just gray. gray. I feel Green. Like... <laughs> Pokemon kill your parents orange. <laughs> where does this where does this go? I, uh, I got wait, wait, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, okay. yeah. The weird thing was. The man at the EB Games insisted yeah. that this the hell is EB Games? is the best version. It's weird though, never seen that man working there before. When he spoke, he spoke backwards and in tongues. <laughs> oh no! But I thought he just oh, had no. an aneurysm. I just shrugged. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the minor oh, it out, it's perfect. I walk up to one of the corpses and push A. Expecting a dialogue box to open up. This is a and creepypasta did, reading. I think so. It was blank or like as though the similar. programmers had forgotten to type anything in. And that was when it happened. The Pokemon battle yep. music started playing. But backwards. And all oh. distorted. Eventually, oh. I came to a crossroads. I could either go left or right. So I turned okay. right. And as I got to the end of that path, there was another intersection. So I turned right. Eventually, okay. I got tired. I went onto the dark net. <laughs> And I started asking, what's going on? And then someone finally replied, never go left. <laughs> oh, Luckily, till no. then, I had only ever gone right. And the username was just H3LP. No, I didn't watch this. I didn't watch this. Maybe maybe you've seen Alana watch this. Alana has watched this recently. Uh, I saw her upload the video on it. M3. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you recall Alana. I logged Alana. back onto my Game Boy. I turned I left. This yet. That's when No! No! I blacked out. In the game and in real life. I woke up the next day and I went outside. I was suddenly in the cave in real <laughs> Oh Bro, bro got easy cat. Oh my god, this would actually make for such a good fan fiction. <laughs> This would actually be such a good fan fiction. What the fuck? Life. <laughs> Bro. I yelled out into the cave. Hello? Hello? Is, anybody Is anybody there? there? Oh, I actually like a creepy poster. Yeah. What the fuck? As time went on, though, yeah. the sure echoes started is. to become yeah. more distorted. It was surreal. It did. was more than surreal. It was liminal. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They've always got their priorities wrong. Yeah. I forgot to wash the dishes and my father is about to go home. No! Uh, I came across several piles of bones. I bent down over one of the skeletons and I saw in its pocket a journal. I opened the journal and I read the first page. It said, I'm so happy. Today I just bought my <laughs> copy of Pokemon Grey. <laughs> oh, Gremlin Nin got word from his key dealer. Yo! Got a fresh. Hot and steamy subnautic esteem key. Hey, Asking okay. for permission to send key now via Discord. Note, if you play without stream you will be cursed to always run out of toilet paper in the worst moments in the future. Sure. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Nyantari. <laughs> Thanks for the pretty song. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the game.
<laughs> I shall stream it. Um, eventually, we have still a few games to play first, but I shall I shall stream it. This is written down <laughs> in a journal. I flipped through the pages and then I found it. They said they found. Um. Does Subnautica come in VR? Should I get a VR set up first? Like, I'm thinking, should I, should I, like, save up for a VR headset first and then play it in VR? Is what, what I'm thinking. Would that, would that be more immersive? <laughs> would that make for a better watching experience as well? Found the truck too. They went into the cave as well. And now they're saying that they're lost in, in the VR, cave. Okay. This oh, sorry, I, I gotta go back a bit. You might get thalassophobia. I don't know what that is. Motion sickness. Motion sickness might happen. Planning on making your motion more immersive. Yeah. Pokemon Grey. <laughs> yeah, you got his Pokemon Grey copy. In a journal. I flipped through the pages and then I found it. They said they found the truck too. They went into the cave as well. And now they're saying that they're lost in the cave. Oh shit. This person's style of writing yep, is familiar. Already have that. Oh my god. My suspicions were confirmed when I got no. to the final page. All that it was Never was hundreds left. and hundreds of scratches Don't that turn said, left. don't go left. Then I saw it. They signed their name at the signed? bottom of their last journal Who is it? entry. Who H3 is it? H3LPM. Three. That's when no. I realized it was saying <laughs> <laughs> I walked around in the game a little bit more until I saw the first human figure I'd seen in this cave in the Bro, what the fuck the is game. this? I started to get closer Ooh, to Ash. What is this Ash red looking usual. ass he with was elongated 18 limbs? Feet tall. <laughs> what? His limbs were all very lanky, not like in the cartoons. Instead of I want to be the best. He said, I want to kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and as his face got closer, it was like my vision was overcome Throw with TV salt. static. Oh my god, not the song. And I blacked oh. out. Huh? When I woke up, I was <laughs> in a strange new place. It was still the cave, but in the distance, I could see lights like those of a hospital room. There. Bro, why did this turn into a horror man? Oh no, wake me up, I don't want to be here. There's a hospital bed <laughs> in the cave, oh, and that's Ash Ketchum was in the hospital bed. I went over there to see what was going on. And as I got up right next to Ash, I realized <laughs> the creepy he's been reading. in a coma the whole time. No! Wait I had seen a theory about this. <laughs> That's when I looked back again. And I've realized... What was it? Ash had my face. Oh, well, his mouth just opened and it played like the garbled, no! creepy Pokemon <laughs> cries. Because we've done that eight times. That's why we can't do that. But what if we did it a ninth time? It can't be more static. <laughs> he can't open his mouth and more static comes out. Like this Again! Garbled. Again! I blinked and now I was in the bed, looking up. Hold up. But I was no longer in the cave. I was in the hospital. I hate how interesting and intriguing this is, my man. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And the reason I hate it is because I'm a scaredy cat. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I had just woken up and my parents were around me. They said that I fainted. I was looking around for my Game Boy Color, but I couldn't see it anywhere. So I asked my yeah. dad and he said, it's at home, but we haven't even bought you a single game to play in it yet. You've been playing an empty Game Boy <gasps> the whole time. No. This experience shook me to my core, but my oh dad my and mum both reassured me that everything will be all right. Anyway, <laughs> I used every single creepy pasta troll. Anyway, this might be my last journal entry for a few weeks. Me and my parents are going to go on <gasps> holiday tomorrow to visit New York City. Oh my god, he is writing the journal. No, it's a self-fulfilling Thanks prophecy. everyone. Dated September 10th. 2001. Oh no. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That no! Is... <laughs> a few weeks no! later, I was at a cafe out with my girl when all of a sudden I looked across the table and what I saw, it shocked me to my core. The guy from EB Games is just like there, like Michael Caine giving like a knowing nod at the end of Batman. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Like a pedestrian walks past and he's gone. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it's got to be like a suspenseful thing like, uh-oh, think of what the ramifications for the whole world will be. So uh, over the years, I've tried to put that all behind me, keep it out of my memory. Maybe it really was all just a dream. Except oh yeah. one day I was browsing the pirate oh no. bay. Yeah. Oh no, not, no. Had no. Pokemon no. Void Black. Do you there the it name? was. And it had been downloaded 30 million <gasps> times. Oh, I clicked on it yeah. and the description was just an assy art picture <laughs> of Ash Ketchum's <laughs> face in the bed. Exactly how I remember it. I ran downstairs. My, I knew my dad liked to use the pirate bay. I went into his study. I burst through the door. Don't play that rum. But no, when I opened the door dad. to his office, there was just was a chair, an empty <laughs> pile of clothes, and the rum was open. He no. had gone to a liminal I'm space, dead. and I would never see him <laughs> again. All I heard was that That's familiar beat. Thanks again to Nord the Holy shit. Don't forget to get a huge <laughs> deal on our trivia player. I it felt like we just watched five videos or something in one. Holy shit, what was this video? Good video, but what the fuck? What did I just witness? That was liminal, truly liminal. Oh, Good, I just finished pretty much every video you've posted on YouTube at work. Then I'm able to catch the stream. Yo, what's up, Saitama? Hey, hey, hey. Um, yo, um, thanks for watching YouTubes whenever this is getting uploaded, probably in a few days. And chat, I'm going to the toilet. Goodbye.